wanted to go through this case of an azagous fissure with an azagous lobe. Just to clarify it, what you usually see is here's the trachea and here's the right main stem bronchus and usually, and you don't see the main stem real well, but it's right in here and ordinarily you see a little elliptical thing here very often coming right at, which is an end-on view of the arch of the azagous vein. The azagous vein hook comes up along the kind of paravertebral area here, hooks up over the right main stem bronchus, and so you see it kind of pointed at you here as it comes in to join the SVC, the SVC coursing down here. In this case, the azagous vein is up here. So this structure here, this kind of elliptical structure, should be oriented long lengthwise right here along the right main stem bronchus normally. But instead, this azagous vein has gotten hooked around the lung as it develops and so has created this fissure. It's kind of created an indentation. So the vein has created this fissure and this is an, a lobe that as a result is created. So the right upper lobe, instead of its normal three segments, now it has this additional lobe, it's called, which is the azagous lobe. So the azagous vein creates an azagous fissure, which in turn separates the right upper lobe from what is called the azagous lobe. And you can identify this because you see the azagous vein kind of hanging in space in the midline here as opposed to along the right main stem bronchus.